Hi, it's Mike again with Ugetastic. I'm sitting down tonight with Mike Stringer, who runs the Data Science Chicago Group. It's been around about a year, and uh, you know, we'll, thank you very much for taking the time to sit down. What is Data Science Chicago? Uh, so we're a meetup group. We started, like you said, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, we use the trendy buzzword data <laughs> science. Uh, not big data. Yeah, not, not big data. Big data. It sounds it's more respectable. Yeah, yeah. It sounds more respectable, but yeah. maybe it's uh, a little bit more devious. <laughs> but uh, so basically, we try to bring together kind of the way that we frame it is kind of three groups of people. So mm -hmm. data people with kind of analytics backgrounds. So maybe with a background in statistics or hard science. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also try to bring in people who have a design background, so mm -hmm. maybe user experience design or even kind of design in the sense of an approach towards problem solving. Okay, so so when you say design, you are talking about like front end human interface. Um, or actually, in the broader sense, maybe uh, like a designer might take a particular approach towards uh, designing some piece of hardware or okay. a device or a medical device or it could even be a, an architecture type okay. of design. But, but it, it's not necessarily uh, the traditional use of, or the more common use of design where I'm making something pretty. It's, it's uh, yeah, not making something pretty but but trying. So the way that uh, I like to think of it mm -hmm. uh, is that designers do a really good job at trying to identify a, a good problem to solve. Mm -hmm. And that's actually one of the core reasons why uh, we thought that, and I say we because mm -hmm. uh, the idea for the data science group kind of grew out of Datascope Analytics, which is mm -hmm. a company that I'm uh, one of the founders of. Okay. Um, so we, we saw this kind of need to bring the technical community together with maybe a less, less technical community. Sometimes, in our experience, the technical folks that have a kind of a data analytics background mm -hmm. often start and say kind of here's some data what can we do with it whereas the design community they've basically kind of perfected instead of asking questions like that they say what's important to do and then we'll figure out how to how to do something valuable and solve that problem yeah so it's ask the right question it's not like i have a lot of lumber i need to build something yes yeah. what problem what what do i need to build do i have lumber exactly <laughs> and, and we kind of it's, that's a great analogy yeah. because it's I like to think of data as like a, it's like a resource, maybe mm -hmm. not a natural resource, but right. it's a, a resource that you can use to solve problems. Mm -hmm. But it's really important to figure out what needs to be done first, mm -hmm. and then how can data be used as a resource to do that. And so we want to cultivate with the group that way of thinking mm -hmm. about this new resource that's just, I mean, it's like, if you think of it as lumber, it's mm -hmm. like, data is doubling every three years or something ridiculous, the mm -hmm. amount of data that's stored. And so it's, it's like this resource that's just exploding in the amount of it. So how do we use that resource? What, what though, drove you to found the group, though? I mean, how did, where did the idea of, of the data science group come from? So actually, uh, I went to a couple of, of meetups, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is Hacks Hackers here in Chicago. Okay. Uh, I went to that. Thought it was a really cool idea. Went and explored the meetup page, okay. and I so saw the uh, hacks hackers. Yes. <laughs> at, the, at the time, it was Erin uh, Polgreen. Mm -hmm. uh, she still organizes it, and, and Brian Boyer. And so I went to that. Thought it was really cool. Explored the meetup site. Mm -hmm. Saw that there's a bunch of really cool uh, and interesting kind of data-oriented groups. So there's uh, the big data group. The Hadoop user group, uh, machine learning meetup, and now there's data visualization also. Okay. And the data science is kind of I would, I would call it kind of like a it's a vague term. Nobody really knows right. what its definition is, and it's meant to kind of encompass like solving the right problems, visualizing it in a way that these these kind of more analytical things can really be communicated. And so we saw that as kind of a a, a missing piece of the meetup community, right. and really our goal is, I mean, it's, it's a growing, vibrant community of people that want to figure out valuable ways to use data and mm -hmm. to solve important problems for the city and right. for 
all types of organizations. Have you ever worked with the Open Government Group? Yeah, absolutely. There's a, there's a ton of uh, cross membership between those okay. groups. So like these groups tend to have their own kind of sub community. Yeah. Now, it's also kind of interesting uh, seeing um, the, the the idea of, of dealing with large data sets and looking at new tool sets and starting. Like, um, I saw that there's an R tutorial. Just you know, of all the languages. For years it was. Ruby and JavaScript. Now we're seeing an art, you know, interface. Mm -hmm. it's, have you been seeing not just people who were already in the industry of dealing with these these big problems, but you see a lot more people coming from outside that maybe were doing just UX or Rails apps that are now starting to be interested. In. Yeah, absolutely. And with there are a few things that have kind of popularized mm -hmm. um, kind of that approach too. I mean, a big one. Mm -hmm. Is Nate Silver in the recent election? Oh yeah, I mean, the 358, right? Yeah, five, yeah. 538. 538. <laughs> Something there. Yeah. yeah. So, it, I mean that the, the the fact that his predictions were right on, right, and that it was he was able to communicate that. I think mm -hmm. that's an actually a key point that there's a lot of people who were making the same predictions actually, but right. Nate Silver with his blog did a fantastic way of communicating that mm -hmm. and. And that really resonates with people, and so it does bring in kind of the Ruby community mm -hmm. and people from all over the place that see like, wow, this is a really, uh, really powerful new way of communicating, and it's kind of an objective view on things that. So he didn't just want. do good analytics; he also made them accessible. Exactly. And that's maybe that's why we were looking at the designers and people who can express. Exactly. That's that's in in the view of uh, like. The kind of data science Chicago meetup view mm -hmm. is that that's kind of the missing piece. The the technical side, mm -hmm. there's there's a a large community of people that kind of get that. Right. Uh, but we want to try to cultivate the sense of you have to have that and the communication, mm -hmm. and you have to be doing a, a solving the right problem right. in the first place. So yeah. it's kind of like those three key aspects to. To really bring in speakers and prompt discussion about how we can all do that better. That's kind of the goal. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to sit down. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.